Space is so mysterious that even now, we don't know much about it, other than a few things you cannot do there. Welcome to our channel, and today we'll be taking a look at the 10 things you definitely cannot do in space. Make sure to stay until the end of our video to learn all about these things you shouldn't do in space. And also subscribe to our channel for more great content like today. 10th place, sleep. You think getting a good night's sleep is tough? Try doing it in outer space. A lot of kids ask, like, how do you sleep? Because we go around the Earth 16 times a day. And so, right. you know, what do you, so what you, do you wake up and sunsets, get, to, get up and get down 16 times? No, 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 no. Being an astronaut isn't easy. It's a tiring job, and you would probably like to rest after a long day flying in space's orbit. With gravity holding you down in Earth, sleeping isn't really very difficult. The problem's when you're in space's orbit. The low gravity is one major difference. Lying down no longer makes any sense, for example, as there is no down. And then some people like to um, tie themselves, but uh, I actually don't. I really like to just float when I'm sleeping, so that's really it. I would uh, turn the light off and uh, good night. Our normal sleeping patterns are disrupted by the lack of feedback from our body's posture during cycles of rest and activity. In fact, astronauts have to take steps to ensure they don't float around while sleeping in space. They tie themselves into sleeping bags. In order to sleep well, our core body temperature needs to cool, which is also extremely difficult when, again, there is no down. Even something as natural as resting is quite difficult when you're up there in space. Ninth place, crying. Humans cry when they feel sad or they feel overjoyed. Sometimes it might just be an allergy or something that actually got into your eye. However, astronauts don't have that alternative open to them. Astronauts can laugh in space as normal, but crying is quite different without gravity. When asked if he could cry in space, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield answered, Can you cry in space? Your eyes make tears, but they stick as a liquid ball. In fact, they sting a bit. Just as if I've started crying, my eye is full of tears. But you can see it just forms a ball on my eye. In fact, I can put more water in. And so if you keep crying, you just end up with a bigger and bigger ball of water in your eye. So, space tears don't shed. Unless they literally wipe the water away with their hands, tears in space can form a giant clump, turning into a realistic ball of tears that flies around. Definitely really weird. Eighth place, eating bread. Eating bread is a normal activity for most of us humans. We eat sandwiches, hamburgers, and even that super healthy yet still delicious avocado toast. But that's when we're down here on planet Earth and enjoying our normal gravity's effect on our food. In space, the rules of the game change completely. Similar to the difficulty zero gravity causes to sleep, eating bread is almost impossible in space. Crumbs from bread, crackers, cookies, etc. don't do well in space. They float around and can fly into an astronaut's eyes and interfere with important equipment. That's why you'll find tortillas used instead of bread on all crafts traveling out of orbit. Crumb-free bread would be a great alternative if it could be implemented in space travel, though. Seventh place, coffee. Many people can't really start their day without a hot cup of coffee. But in space, astronauts have found other ways to begin their admittedly not very bright mornings. That's because water's an important ingredient in coffee though pouring coffee grounds into boiling water while under the influence of zero gravity is extremely dangerous. That's why a special espresso machine that uses capsules of coffee grounds was developed for orbiting astronauts. Sixth place, using the restroom. Welcome to the toilet of the International Space Station. Using the restroom is extremely difficult in space, so much that astronauts are required to complete a toilet training program. There are two different bathroom mechanisms, each designed for a specific bodily function. When nature calls, astronauts use a specially designed toilet seat for solid waste and a liquid waste vacuum tube with different sized funnels for men and women. Most of us actually prefer to lift this one as well and use directly the, the opening that goes into the bag. And in fact, there is a bag in, in there. It looks like this. And uh, when we are done with our business, we close the bag and we push it down into the solid waste container. And then, of course, as a courtesy to the next person, we put a new fresh bag inside. So, what do you think of these things you cannot do in space so far? Let us know what you think in the comments. Also, make sure to stay until the end to learn about the remaining things you cannot do in space. You'll be shocked to learn what's at the bottom of our list. Fifth place, alcohol. 
More than something you can do in space, this is something most spaceflight corporations prohibit you from doing. A funny story is that in 1972, alcohol was on the menu for the Skylab 4 mission. However, many people found out about this and even sent angry letters to NASA about bringing alcohol to a spaceflight. Astronaut Edward G. Gibson said in his letter that astronauts represent a form of purity, and as soon as that purity is tainted with alcohol, people really get upset. Alcoholic drinks are generally disallowed in spaceflight, but space agencies have previously allowed its consumption. NASA has been stricter about alcohol consumption than the Roscosmos, both according to regulations and in practice. Astronauts and cosmonauts are restricted from being intoxicated at launch for very obvious reasons. If driving a car while drunk is bad, imagine a rocket or a spaceship. So yes, alcohol's a big no-no for space travel. Fourth place, shaving. Yes, as we do on Earth, astronauts also grow hair in many of their body parts. However, unlike we do, astronauts have quite a difficult time shaving these annoying hairs. Both female and male astronauts shave in space and are provided with either an electric razor or a disposable razor. Most astronauts choose electric razors because of the scarcity of running water on the ISS. Most male astronauts choose to keep their hair short while on board the ISS to avoid any complications with zero gravity. They definitely do not want to see hairs floating around and ending up somewhere they shouldn't. In order to get a haircut, astronauts use a hair shaver attached to a vacuum that sucks up all the hair trimmings. Now that we have arrived to our top three, get ready to learn all about the three most difficult things to actually do in space. Third place, brushing your teeth. You know something's difficult to do in space when there are even video tutorials available on YouTube titled How to Brush Your Teeth in Space. Considering that only 600 people or even less have actually been to space, this tutorial isn't really helpful for most people, to be honest. Anyway, brushing your teeth in space is extremely hard. Here's the process in great detail. First, the astronaut attaches their toothpaste tube to a nearby wall. With the toothbrush in one hand and the drink pouch in the other, they squeeze a small bead of water from the pouch while simultaneously gliding their toothbrush over it. The toothbrush will instantly suck up the water. Then, the astronaut takes their toothpaste and repeats the same process. They will brush their teeth like usual. Once they are done, all they have to do is squeeze some water over their brush and wipe it off with a towel to clean it. Then they can pack up their things and get on with their day. Second place, veggies. Not many people enjoy vegetables, though they have recently gained a lot of popularity due to plant-based diets. However, in space, vegetables such as spinach have to go in vacuum-sealed packaging. That's because astronauts attach vegetables to a water distributor and fill the bag until it transforms the brick of spinach into textured food. You've probably already seen that before in memes or even in space theme parks. But the thing about space food coming packaged like that is quite real. However, astronauts really enjoy gardening because it reminds them of life on Earth. They enjoy tending and watering the vegetables and getting them to Germany. Fresh food is so attractive to astronauts that they celebrated with salad when they were able to cultivate a few lettuce heads on the International Space Station three years ago. In 2021, scientists hoped to grow beans in space in high-tech planters, developed at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. So yes, in the future, we will have realistic and functional space farms at our disposal. First place, washing your hands and cleaning. Similar to brushing your teeth, even something as simple as washing your hands can be quite difficult to successfully do when in space. On the ISS, astronauts do not shower but rather use liquid soap, water and rinseless shampoo. They squeeze liquid soap and water from pouches onto their skin. Then they use rinseless soap with a little water to clean their hair. They use towels to wipe off the excess water. And if you're wondering how they manage to clean the ISS, they use liquid detergent, disposable plastic gloves, multi-purpose wiping cloths, and a vacuum cleaner for cleaning. To clean, they spray the detergent, wipe with the cloth, and vacuum the dust. When washing with the detergent, they wear disposable gloves. So what do you think of these normal things we can do on Earth but are unable to do in space? Let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to leave our video a like. Share this video with your friends and also subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more great content like today. We hope you enjoyed our video and we'll see you next time.